hello amazing people welcome back to my channel guys how are you all doing today i hope you're all doing great on today's video i'll be showing you how to create the slit on the lowest part of this gown which is the skirt part i'll show you how to create this slit and how to apply this flounce and of course how to also make this flounce as well okay guys so if you want to see this then you need to stick around to the end of this video so what i'm going to be working with first of all um is the, the front piece of the skirt okay so it is ideally for you to work on this before attaching it you know to the upper part and doing the final journey so that you have a better workspace to do whatever it is you want to do okay yeah so um this is it i've already gone ahead to turn it all with the lining you know i've also fixed my dart and I've, I've gone ahead to also give it a very good press so in order to um for more clarification i would like to use this piece of paper to quickly demonstrate how this is going so for clarity purpose so that you really really understand you know what i'm saying before i transfer it to the main fabric itself so here i'm going ahead to make a quick sketch of what my skirt looks like okay just like what i have on my table so the first thing i'm supposed to do now is to make a center line okay so i'll make a center line in the middle and you see me making two points in between those lines so that represents what my that line so the next thing i need to do now is to take my side measurement so my side measurement that's my waist to my hip all the way to the floor length of the skirt i will take the measurement and chalk it down on the main fabric itself okay so after that i will choose the part where i actually want my slit to be which is either going to be on the right or on the left side now this depends on your choice but i want mine to be on the left side just like we have it on the thumbnail so on the part i chose i'll go ahead and mark extra one inch again on that same seam line that i've made okay i'm making extra one inch after so the reason why we are doing this is so that you can have um a guideline so that whenever i'm creating my slit i will not make the mistake of probably stitching you know um making a cut towards that part okay so this is just a guide now that i have drawn that line okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is to locate the points where i want my slits to actually start from okay so from the waist to my somewhere around my knee length you see me making that dash line now okay so this dash line represents um the point where my slit opening is going to stop then from that point then i'm going to make a triangular shape now my triangular shape is going to come from the top of my waistline just a little bit below my waistline okay my my shape is the triangular shape is going to come a little bit below that waistline and it's going to come all the way towards um that midpoint that um, we have drawn okay so this is how we are going to create um the actual slit opening so you see me making a point just a little bit below that waistline now i'm going to use my ruler and draw that line you see to that midpoint that's why we have those lines to just be a guy now also have it in mind that if you choose to make your slit more wide open then you can go beyond that um the midpoint line okay i only drew mine all the way to the midpoint line but if you want yours to go beyond that you can go beyond the um the midpoint line so after that i'm also creating another shape you see it from that same point i took it all the way to the side seam so you can see me making a marking on this line indicating that this is the part where we are going to what, be cutting out from but you need to take note of this you are going to make your cut not beyond the line um on the um the part where the slit is going to i hope you understand me your cut is coming from the bottom all the way to only that point where you have your slit okay but the line above that line is still going to be there that one is just to indicate that when you're fixing your flounce your flounce will be what go all through so you see me making my cut now you see me okay so it's not going to extend beyond that slit line okay yeah yeah. so my slant is going to come somewhere um below that line i made an arrow there it will run through the upper part then flow downwards just like you have it what on the thumbnail okay yes so right now everything i have done on this piece of paper i'm going to do the same on my main fabric so i went ahead of course to locate the midpoint line just like you see me doing right now 
after that i drew my line to locate the midpoint line then the next thing i did of course was to what take the side measurement i'm going to chalk it down so just have in mind that everything i just demonstrated on that piece of paper is what i am transferring back to my fabric so i'm taking the measurement just like you're taking the waist measurement and the hip measurements i'm just indicating what the measurements by the side and i'm also chalking it down so once i was done with this okay the next thing of course was to also what connect all the points and i have my side seam line in place then i went ahead of course to choose the point where i want my uh, my my slits to be okay like i said i want it to be at the left hand side so i chose that point and of course on that same point where i want my slit to be i went ahead to draw an extra one inches okay so the reason why i actually did this is so that if there's any reason my client um, needs an adjustment okay i will know that i'll be on a safe side so that's why i said the line is just what a guy so after this same line i see the next thing was to locate the line where i want my slit opening to start from so that is the dash line i just created now from my waist to that point is somewhere around my nail at 18 inches then after that i now went four inches below the um, waistline to also what know where my um, flounce is also going to start from so from that point now i will to draw my triangle okay so for maybe more um understanding that point you created below the waistline you can just get the midpoint and start dragging your triangular shape from there so you see me doing that now taking it from that point you see that i i i didn't go beyond the midpoint line just like i said okay like i said it is all depends on you you can decide to go um beyond that midpoint line of which i probably will go beyond that line but i just need to work with this one first if i feel that the space is not wide enough then i will also go beyond the midpoint line i hope you understand so of course you see me making my cuts now okay very important to take note of it that you should not go make your cut above that line yes so that is it guys so you can see this so the extra lines you have there is just telling me where i'm going to what make my my, my stitch now the next thing i'll do now is to go ahead and finish up these edges either you whip it or you can just make a tiny fold in just to clean up the edges and so you see me creating my shape there now so you're going to take note of the point where you're going to what attach your flange so from that point which is not totally at the at the floor length i will just use my tape root to take the measurement all the way so this is just for me to have an idea of um the length of the flounce that i'm going to be what attaching you know to this so once i have taken that measurement okay then i will go ahead what to cut my flounce so guys please um i'm i'm making a short video very short video i'm linking it in the description box how i made this flounce a very very easy way to achieve um your fans it's actually a spiral flounce okay it's a very short video guys so you can go ahead also and watch it if you're not familiar with it okay yes guys so that is what i'm going to do i'll finish up the edges then of course um at the end of it then i'll be able to what fix my flounce so here it is guys i've gone ahead to clean up the edges but if you look at one side you'll see that um i actually went beyond that midpoint line just like i said if you notice that the space now is much wider than it was and here is my flounce i've gone ahead to finish it up and i lined it with a plain fabric this is a satin fabric okay it's very important to do this because you know the boat fabric is going to be showing by the time we are done so what i'll do now is to what start making my stitch you know from the bottom or from one part or from the slit all the way to the top of that point we created then it will flow down to um, the point where i want it to stop so once i did that if i have any excesses i'm going to what trim it out but what i wanted to do here what i actually wanted to make um a pleat around that um the top part that's the part that is close to the waistline okay i wanted to have my fabrics all go in there maybe to give it some puffy effect but at the end of the day i realized that um I didn't like the outcome okay so what i did i just went ahead um you know to um 
take it off and just sold it all the way straight. There was no pleat anywhere, okay? So I just sold it all straight and of course, I cut out the excesses, okay? I cut out the excesses, you know, and that was it, guys, and clean up the stitches. So that was it, guys. So you can see now that by the time you're done, you know, you can see the flounce is going to be covering up that part that is um the slit opening part. And this is why it is very important and easy to work on this front piece first before you start joining it, you know, to the upper piece or start joining the back piece to it. So that is it, guys. You can see how this is. When I was done attaching this, all you need to do is just to sew it up. And guys, this is it, guys. Just take your time and, you know, arrange this and you'll see the beauty of from um, this flounce on the skirt. See how this is looking so beautiful, guys. You know, this is so gorgeous. Guys, if you have not liked this video, guys, please go ahead and like, share, and don't forget to also subscribe if you've not done that as well. I will appreciate that a lot. Thank you so much, guys. Like, we have come to the end of this video. I am super excited with the outcome of this. I'm loving this so much, guys. So, till I see you on the next video, guys, have a wonderful day.